Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have got our week ahead guidance for tomorrow, starting from tomorrow. So today I again have three separate piles. In pile one we have a purple candle and some green aventurine. In pile two we have a white candle and some cream and black shirt. And in pile three, we have a green candle and some rhodonite. So what I would like you to do is close your eyes. I'm going to put some music on in the background. And when you feel like you are ready, open your eyes and go straight to the pile that you are drawn. Again, we have pile one, pile two and pile three. Okay, so I'm just going to pop some music on and we'll be back in two minutes. Okay, so I hope that you um, have now felt drawn to a pile. We're going to get straight into revealing each pile. So what I do is you, um, I will put the timestamps, sorry, down below, and then you can jump straight to the um, pile that you have chosen. Okay, so if you picked pile one, this reading is for you. So I'm just going to turn each of the cards over and see what we got. So we've got the Five of Wands, the Page of Swords, and then onto the Oracle we have got Owl, Peaceful Warrior, and Protection. So let's start with the protection card here because I feel that because this is protection, it is taking protection of the entire reading here for you. So this card says the fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. So I feel that the fairies here are giving you a boost of protection at the moment I feel that maybe you need it maybe you feel that somebody or whatever um is not out to get you but is you know not being 
straightforward with you maybe somebody's been a bit backhanded and you feel like you need that extra bit of protection and the fairies get this they feel that for you so they are making this ring of light of protection for you you might be feeling a little bit rough you might be feeling a little bit down in the dumps um you might be feeling a little bit stuck obviously because of the situation that we're in at the moment and you know you need to remember that you're not on your own the divine is with you, the fear with you, everybody that you need to have around you is with you. So what you really need to be doing is um, taking care of yourself. You may be feeling rather em empathic at the moment. So if you are an empath at the moment, I am guessing that you're going to be feeling even worse because of the amount of emotion that is coming out of this time from all around you. Everybody's feeling the same thing. So it's going to be tenfold for you that feeling so try and cleanse yourself every day try and do a little bit of uh, cleansing meditation open the windows to your home get some air in there for five to ten minutes a day if it's cold or for longer if it's a nice warm day try and get outside feel the grass beneath your feet try and connect with nature to keep you grounded and to keep you safe um so we've got peaceful warrior here and this is archangel ariel Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. So I feel that, you know, you're feeling rough, you're feeling a bit crappy and um, you need um, to stay grounded. But no matter who comes for you or who has anything to say, I think usually you would be able to just brush it off and be like, oh, well, whatever. But at the moment you're feeling an extra little bit tender. So you maybe not standing up for things as much as you would usually do but Archangel Ariel is asking you to just hold your tongue be careful of what words you use no matter how challenging um the situation might be just be careful of how you speak to um people don't rise to bullies don't uh, stoop down to their level because all that does is make you as bad as them so just try and rise above it try and uh, keep a clear mind like I said this is probably why the fairies have got that ring of protection around you right now because there is somebody being a little bit backhanded so just try and keep um, that in mind try and visualize the white light of protection around yourself at all times especially at challenging times um, and just remember that you know you are strong and you can handle it you can do it okay just every time you feel like you're being tested go outside and connect with nature a little bit so we've got owl here which is listen to the messages so can you see that <laughs> listen to the messages of the angels and this is archangel bok p i'm probably saying that absolutely wrong um but with this one again it's um this archangel here is trying to give you wisdom owls are very wise creatures um and I feel that the Archangel is trying to give you wisdom to be able to see through the people that are uh, being a little bit backhanded with you at the moment. Try and see through their games, try and see through what they're doing so that you don't rise to them and so that you're not caught off guard with them. You know exactly who they are, you know exactly what they're doing and you're going to keep telling yourself that it doesn't matter because it's saying a lot more about who they are as people than um, it is about you. It's actually telling us how strong and wise you are that you are not... Um, you know uh, stooping down to that level so um again it's about the grounding it's about having that protection around you and using your intuition to know when to act and when not to act and when to just you know say nah um and take some self-care and rest as well because at the moment i feel that you really really need it so make sure that you're listening to your body you're listening to your intuition at all times because when that tells you that you need to rest you need to do it okay now we've got the Page of Swords here. Here she is, the Page of Swords. Now, um, Swords is um, linked to the element air, which is all about your thought processes and um, your state of mind and um, that you've got to let go, okay? And at the moment, I feel it's letting go of stress. It's letting go of um, negative energies and trying to... Um, cleanse and replace those negative energies with um, good vibes and gra uh, keeping grounded um, and at the moment I feel that maybe this is something to do with 
jealousy. I think somebody's maybe feeling a little bit jealous of you and they are trying their best to um, make you react and you're not reacting and that's probably really annoying them so they're trying a little bit harder but you are keeping your ground, you are being peaceful, you are not bothered in the slightest or you are but you're not showing it because you know exactly what you need to do. I also feel that um, you know you are doing really, really well with what it is that you're doing and this is why people are um, coming up out of the woodwork trying to spoil it for you. Um, but you need to be careful, again, of how you respond to this. What you say and what you could do um, could change um, everything that's happening for you. Okay, and You don't want to spoil all that hard work that you've been putting into it. So just hold your tongue. They will get bored. They will go away. And they will have accomplished absolutely nothing and they will be worse off than what they are now. So karma will take care of them. You don't need to. Now you've got the five oh, you've got the five of wands here. Wands is linked into the element of fire. You can see here that he has a match. And this is um when you need to um to do something, to take action on something or whether you shouldn't take action. Now, I feel here that this um, actually would be better if you don't take action. Just carry on doing what you're doing. Carry on looking out for yourself and the people that you love and that you know have, have your back and ignore the haters and ignore the jealousy and, you know, they will spoil it for themselves, okay? They don't need your help to spoil it for them. That is what they're after. They're after for you to react so that they can say, oh, look at what they're doing. Um, and they will come out of it looking innocent. So at the moment, please do not take action. There is absolutely no need for you to take action at the moment. You're working really, really hard, and you don't want all that hard work being taken away because of these people that, you know, want to take that away from you. So um, just be careful with the way that you're talking to people, just be careful with your actions, um, because that could be your downfall. So just you just rise above it you just carry on doing what your beautiful soul is doing because you're doing absolutely fantastic okay so i feel like there's you know you've got that protection and most of these cards are telling you just to beware because there are people around you that um are being a little bit jealous of what you've got and um you need to be careful of how you respond to that so i hope that that reading um made sense for you if it did please leave me a comment below and let me know um and I will see you in the next week's uh, weekly guidance. Hello, if you chose pile two with the white candle and the black, uh, the cream and black shirt, this reading is for you. So I am just going to turn the cards and see what we have got. We have got the six of pentacles, the seven of wands, cat. Trust your vibes and new beginnings. I'm just going to move those over so that we can see them properly. I hope everyone can see that. Okay, so I'll start with the Oracle cards as they're a little bit nicer um, and polite than the Tarot. I feel that the Tarot really goes for the gut. Um, so we have got new beginnings and this fairy godmother heralds the joyous news. Oh, just move the candle. Uh, this fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. Now this says babies but it literally could mean anything. So there's something to be celebrated and it's very very close i feel it's it's quite close to um happening um it could be an engagement if you're already engaged it could be planning your wedding or you know um getting the date or getting married it could be uh, a new pregnancy it could be anything a job it could be anything there is something there to be celebrated so if you've applied for a job recently and you're waiting to hear back it could be that you've got the job could be anything. Um, 
Now, you need to give yourself a break because I feel that this is a reward of all the hard work that you have been doing. And you need to give yourself a big pat on the back because, you know, you've uh, waited a very long time for this and it's very close to um, coming true for you. So although, you know, you need to cut yourself some slack and give yourself a break every now and again, don't stop now because you are so close, okay? So carry on, don't lose hope, it's happening for you. Next we have Trust Your Vibes and this says, thank you angels, today I I choose choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. So I feel that this card is is literally just telling you that that feeling that you get, that gut feeling inside you that tells you when something is not right or tells you when to take action, it is um, your intuition and you need to start trusting that. I feel that you have been ignoring it a little bit lately, whether you've been working too hard and ignoring it or whether you've heard it and you've just thought, oh no, I don't want to. Um, It's there for a reason. It's warning you against things. It's telling you which direction to take for the best and that kind of thing. So it is really something that you need to um, listen to or maybe you have just not been as connected as you um, have been in the past. So this card is telling you that, you know, you need to slow down a little bit. Maybe you've been working too hard um, to be able to hear. So you need to slow down a little bit. Take that little bit of a break. Don't stop completely, but take a little bit of a break. And maybe try some meditation, try some yoga, try something to um, concentrate on your breathing um, and your feelings. And then maybe that will help you open up and be able to listen to the messages that are coming to you. I feel that there's um, a celebration to be had about levelling up spiritually here, actually. Um, whether you've just started out, maybe you've found the path for you and you've been working hard on you know, researching and working and things, I feel that something is going to happen for you um, spiritually that will open up a whole new doorway of um, exciting, exciting uh, spiritual things. So we've got the cat here as well, be relaxed and independent. So I feel that's telling you that you cannot uh, level up spiritually until you're one, trusting um, your intuition and listening, or until two, you're being relaxed and not bothering about what anybody else is doing but yourself. So this card is telling you to stop questioning, stop questioning yourself, focus on what you're doing and by trusting your intuitions, um, deep down you will know all the answers already, so you won't need to question anything because your intuition is there, that's what it's there for, it's there to tell you, it's there to guide you, okay? Um, so again, you need to ground yourself, you need to um, get yourself some meditation or some yoga or something to help you to concentrate and to help you to connect with your um, spiritual intuition. And um, I feel that this will help you um, to make any decisions it is that you need to make at this time. So we've got the seven of wands here. Let's get down to the uh, nitty gritty. We've got the seven of wands here. Now the uh, wands is um, links in with the element of fire. So it's about what you need to do and when you need to do it. Now the seven of wands is maybe... um, you're feeling a little bit backed into a corner, you don't know what to do next and this is because you're not uh, spiritually linked with yourself, okay, you're out of sync and you feel like everybody and anything is out to get you but really they're not, okay, you need to just focus on yourself um, and trust in yourself that you have got this down, you don't need to um, be fighting with yourself, be fighting with anybody else you have got the answers, you have got everything you need deep down inside yourself to get through this, okay? So um, maybe cut yourself some slack, yeah? You're putting far too much pressure on yourself and listen to yourself, okay? Now we've got the six of pentacles here as well. And the pentacles um, is... Uh, links in with the element earth and this um, is actually all about uh, the material side of things, finances, security um, and things like that. So the um, six of pentacles in this reading is telling you actually that you know the good things are coming we've got the celebration card here and you know this is a celebration card in its own right if you look at it that way um so because we've got this one here i feel that this card is actually telling you that 
um, the, the good things are coming to you. you just got to hold on to that hope. All that hard work that you've been putting into uh, whatever it is, it's coming. The rewards are coming. Um, so keep, don't forget to keep the balance though. Um, balance is needed in everything, okay? So if you're working really hard, you, you know, you need to um, take the time off to rest as well. Otherwise, you're just going to burn out and um, you're not going to be feeling very good. And then the rewards are not going to come or you're going to miss it or whatever. And that brings in trusting your intuition as well. Your intuition will tell you when things are coming, um, when to rest, what to do next and things like that. OK, um, I feel also that with all this hard work that you're doing, you're inspiring other people and you are um, giving people hope. Um, but you've also got to realise that you don't need all that pressure, okay? Just because you know that people are looking up to you doesn't mean that you need to feel backed up into a corner. People will understand when you need to take a break. People will understand when you need to rest. And if they don't, then, you know, they're not really there to see you succeed, okay? So that is your reading, my lovely and it's all about trust it's all about you know trusting yourself trusting uh, the divine the divine has got your back and the rewards are coming but you just need to not lose hope and you know look after yourself a little bit more this week so i hope that that reading was okay for you if it was let me know down in the comments box below hello if you chose pile three with the rhodonite this reading is for you so I'm just going to lay the cards out. We have got the Four of Swords. Oh, the Ten of Swords. We've got two Swords cards here. We've got Shark. No, 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 no. We have got Peace and Harmony from Archangel Ragul. And we have got Go Outside. It's a bit of uh, crappy advice at the moment, but let's see. Um, let's just double check what that advice is all about because, you know, they don't tell us things um, if it's not true and not needed. So, card one, we have got to go outside. It's time to go outside. Time to oh, tune in to the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. Okay, so I'm not feeling like you know, the fairy uh, fair, uh, telling you to go and break lockdown rules, okay? I don't feel like they're trying to tell you that. But at the moment, I feel that you have been spending far too much time inside when you have had the opportunity to go outside. Maybe you're feeling stuck, maybe you're feeling lost. You need to really go outside and let nature bring you back to life, okay? So whether it's going outside and taking your one walk a day or whether you're very lucky enough to have a garden, Try and be in that space a little bit more rather than feeling um, stuck in the house. Smell the flowers, let the air uh, refresh your skin, um, ground yourself, feel the grass, the roots underneath the grass wrap themselves around your feet and shoot up through your legs. Just really feel the power from nature because at the moment I feel like you need that little bit of a boost. You know, you've let yourself go a little bit and I don't mean let yourself go as in you've eaten all the cakes. I mean, you've let yourself go as in you've just not bothered. You, you're just not bothered anymore. Um, and that is the verge of depression and we really don't want to be going down there so allow nature to rescue you a little bit there okay now we've got peace and harmony from archangel ragul thank you ragul for surrounding my life in a harmonious light so i feel um at the moment maybe you're arguing with yourself a little bit Maybe it's um, because you're feeling um, stuck in a rut and you've let yourself down a little bit, um, whereas routine is involved and, you know, you're feeling, for lack of a better word, crappy. Um, and you're telling yourself off for it, but then you continue to do it. So you've, I feel like you're, you're in conflict a little bit with yourself there. So I feel like you do need to trust in the divine and you do need to go out into nature and let it rescue you a little bit there and you will feel so much better and so much lighter um, and ready to fight another day. This lockdown is not going to last forever, although it feels like it has done. 
I promise you it's not going to last forever. We will be back to normal and, you know, doing all the things that we used to do. I feel that this lockdown has taught us all valuable lessons not to take things for granted. Um, and it's also taught us love and harmony and respect for most of us anyway, those that are, you know, not being selfish and breaking lockdown rules. Um, so yes, that's lovely. You have got Shark here, which says lead as a powerful, peaceful warrior. Now, I feel that um, you are powerful, you are strong and you are fierce and you protect everybody. And I feel maybe this has weighed you down a little bit as well. You feel like you've got to protect everybody that you love as well and stop them from feeling the way that you're feeling, uh, which is making you feel even more of what you're feeling. Um, and I feel that this situation here has just got too much for you. You've put far too much pressure on yourself. Um, because you're seen as this um, warrior, you're seen as this strong, independent person who looks after everybody um, and you've maybe put a little bit too much pressure on yourself. So um, you've got to take some time now to ground, to go outside, to be at peace with yourself and, you know, just meditate, just dance, put on some music while you're cleaning and shake your bum, you know, do something to make you happy, do something to bring you out again. Yes, you are a born leader, but you are allowed to have breaks and be looked after as well. You don't have to do all the looking after yourself. Right, let's get into the tarot of the reading. We have got the Ten of Swords here and um, this is actually really funny is this one because it's the Golden Girls Tarot and the tarot's actually in the picture. Uh, the swords are actually in the picture rather than in the uh, person, which is really funny. Um, so I feel that actually this is also telling you that um, I feel that there's people that you're looking after or people that, you know, you're doing things for that are not necessarily giving that back to you or are not necessarily um, your friend, okay, they're just using you and I feel deep down you probably know who this is, um, you need to cleanse, okay, cleanse them out of your life, whether it's um, people, whether it's places, whether it, whatever it is, you need to cleanse it and get it out, okay, because all it's doing is dragging you even further down than you need to be, okay, don't hold back, don't allow these people to take advantage of you, you've been down and out for far too long now, um, with the pain and the weight of the world, it's now time for you to focus on you, ground and connect with nature again, but you really, there's no point doing all this if you're just going to walk back into this situation, okay, so you need to make sure that you cleanse it out before you do all this, and then when you come back, everything will be changed for you. We've got the four of swords here too which is also telling you to rest. As you can see here in the Santa Muerta uh, deck, this person is putting nails in a coffin. Now, I do not want you to be the person that puts the last nail in your coffin because you have not taken this advice, okay? Rest, take it easy and take some time out for yourself. If you don't and you carry on this way, you're going to end up gravely poorly, okay? And I don't mean mentally, although you will. I feel like you're already on the verge of depression here. I feel that you're going to be physically poorly as well, okay? Because there's far too much stress here. There's far too much pressure here. So you're taking on far more than you can handle. And even though you're strong and you're independent and other people see how fierce you are, you're still a human, okay? You're still human and you still deserve to have a break and you still deserve to have people look after you too, okay? doesn't mean that you failed because people are looking after you. It just means that you're human and, you know, what goes around comes around, yeah, so please try and look after yourself before you really do yourself any damage and that is that reading which sounds a little bit horrible um, but you really do need to start looking after yourself before anything bad happens. So that is all my readings for this week. If that made sense for you, I would love to hear down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this week and I will see you on next week's weekly guidance.